For over 30 years, Northrop Grumman in Baltimore has been producing electronically scanned array radars. Uh, we started with a B-1 radar, which is a passively electronically scanned array, and for years have been producing successfully a wide variety of active electronically scanned arrays. I have uh, three models of those today. One is the APG-81, which is now in production for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The APG-80, which is uh, produced uniquely for the F-16 Block 60, found only in the United Arab Emirates, and for the India MMRCA program in the F-16 IN Super Viper, and our newest product, which is the scalable Agile Beam Radar, Sabre, which is built on all of the good ideas that we have produced for our actively scanned arrays, and both specifically, the APG-80 and APG-81 have uh, produced both software and hardware for this design. On all of these actively scanned arrays, one of the principal benefits is that nothing moves. The antenna is fixed. For that reason, uh, you find yourself having a much more reliable product. Now, with a reliable product, you're also expecting a great deal of uh, capability improvement, and you get that. The multifunctionality of these things is incredible. The human being can't really perceive how quickly it changes modes, but these radars can all do near simultaneous operation for air to air and air to ground. They can see and map things on the ground from great distance in any weather, and at the same time, see air to air targets, small air to air targets at great distance. We've been building F-16 radars for over 30 years. We understand the F-16 interface. We know the modes that uh, the operator has uh, wanted to use for years. We've been involved in the mode improvement all this time. Sabre will fit in any F-16 worldwide, matches the power and cooling budget of any F-16 worldwide. Over a year ago, we first uh, field fit the Sabre into an F-16 at Edwards Air Force Base. And last November, November of uh, 2009, we actually flew 17 very successful sorties at Edwards Air Force Base. The customer was pleased, to say the least, at the wide variety of modes available at the time. And since November of last year, we've continued to go with continuous improvement of those modes, incorporating even more. Sabre's a bridge to F-35, both in capability and in design. We have borrowed an awful lot of good production ideas and software modality from the F-35. We continue to port the modes that uh, are most desired by the F-35 customer straight into Sabre, something that you can use in the F-35 and in the F-16. With a mix of these two aircraft in uh, the U.S. Air Force or Air National Guard fleet, you'd find a unique capability that would be a world beater.